My name is Brianna Briga. I've been at the Bind Rabbit for about four years now as a bartender. My name is Leonard Chan. I'm one of the founders of the Bind Rabbit. We've been here for about eight years now. There's just a huge lack of this kind of concept in Orange County at the time. There, there are a lot more now, but at the time, every time I travel, it, it, things kind of revolve around food and cocktail experiences. And um, there was no true speakeasy style bar during that time. And so we wanted to bring the same things that we search for when we travel to our home in Orange County. I'm Year of the Rabbit, hence the name the Blind Rabbit. A lot of speakeasies back in the day were either called like the Blind Pig or the Blind Tiger. Uh, it was a little bit of a loophole during the Prohibition where you would maim an animal. So it would be like a blinded pig and you would pay money to go see a blind pig and with your entrance you would get a cocktail. So you weren't paying for the drink and that was a, a loophole in the beginning of the Prohibition that was obviously like cinched up later on. So we were kind of paying homage to the, the old name like the blind pig of blind tiger but then using our Chinese heritage to me as a, a rabbit. Try to keep it as peer specific as possible. When we were looking for everything, down to the artwork, hidden signs, like we have like a Chan Brothers, like my, my brother and I, like a laundry service, so it's kind of like a nod to like how Chinese immigrants when they came, um, though they may have been scientists or doctors, they were relegated to doing things like laundry and bars were hidden behind a lot of things like um, everyday everyday stores as you know, laundries, um, barber shops, like those kind of things. So it truly was a labor of love and it, it definitely over the past eight years, it's, it's, it's evolved into the space it is now. Honestly, the way that people walk in already is the way I want people to continue walking <laughs> in with such excitement and awe. People just like with their phones immediately and the way that half the time some people just can't even finish their video because they're just like, they put their phone down and they're just looking around. And watching these people walk in, they're just like, oh my God, everyone's just looking around. It's like, that's what I want to see every single time. And my hope is that when people come in that they really are escaping from, you know, whatever stressors that they had during that day or week or year. And, can come in and just get away for whatever time frame that they're in here for. Come out of here relaxed and happy and hopefully a little bit tipsy, but not too yeah. tipsy. <laughs>